I'm Satabria Stevens, and I'm here with Chu Chin Hua from Singapore Housing and Development Board. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So, how is ArcGIS technology being used to support Singapore's vision to build sustainable and vibrant towns? Many of the Asian cities nowadays, is the, it's a common problem or common challenge to deal with rapid urbanization at the one hand, and yet having to build very livable and very sustainable communities and cities on the other hand. The use of uh, geospatial technology like ArcGIS is really one of the many tools that we currently use to enhance our planning capabilities. So can you tell us about your award-winning project called the iPlan? iPlan is short for Integrated Planning and Analysis and it's largely a map-centric application. With the iPlan, many of my architects and uh, town planners, they're able to get quite easy access to uh, town planning information that they require in their daily planning work. The iPlan also allows for our planners to quickly overlay many different geospatial data layers so that they can quickly analyze and compare data, query certain data sets, so it's easy to find information using the system. What was the process like prior to implementing the technology? What, what kinds of challenges did you guys encounter? We have a massive volume of raw data that's not tagged or geotagged in a uh, geospatial format. Many of this raw data were residing in many, many different databases and data sources uh, all across our organization. The team had to find quite clever ways to uh, link all the databases together and pull the right data from the right sources to again make meaningful geospatial layers uh, for, for us to do analysis and to do planning. And what are the next steps for HDB? Well, moving forward, we intend to further enhance the features that we currently have for iPlan. We really have plans to explore on how to transform it to become a more data analytic tool. So hopefully with uh, that, we are able to make better use of the data sets that we currently have, allow our planners to do more in-depth analysis, uh, study trends, and hopefully we can anticipate and predict certain uh, issues and problems be before they occur. By doing so, we're able to really make a better living environment for all our residents.